Gotta take out the trash. Look at all this. Oh my goodness, I got more out on the on the street already. How in the world does such a small family have so much garbage? You know, we gotta pay to take this trash out. For somebody to come and remove it from our property, as I'm sure you do too. And so week after week, when the day arrives, we take out the trash. Put it all out on the curb. Drop it in the buckets. And pray he don't forget. <laughs> pray the garbage man doesn't forget to come by and uh, remove the stuff. Because like I said, you know, we pay for the honor to have our garbage removed. Seems like sometimes in our lives, we got a lot of trash. And I don't know where it all comes from. Sometimes we, we, we just have it piled up and piled up and piled up. And, and it seems amazing to me that, that we collect so much stuff that is of no good for us. That, that should be thrown away. But, you know, the price for that trash disposal, the stuff and the junk of our life, is already paid. You see, when Jesus died upon a cross for our sins and, and, and rose again and is now sitting at the right hand of the Father, and we said yes to that, the junk of our life is already cleared up. But we keep collecting more, and we keep collecting more. And pretty soon we got a pile after pile after pile, week after week in our lives. Why can't we just throw stuff away and let it go? Ah. <sighs> Wish it was that easy, but you know, we're sinners. And we keep holding on to stuff and we keep collecting stuff, but maybe today we need to look and sort through our personal lives and, and take out the trash and, and say, dear God, all of this stuff that is of no use to me, that, that, that is holding me back, that is disturbing me, I put it in your hands and Jesus, basically we have to ask for his forgiveness and say, I'm sorry, I've been holding on to, to doubt, holding on to unforgiveness, holding on to this sin and that, and say, God, forgive me of my sins. And we hit our knees and the garbage goes away. And I pray <laughs> that we don't keep collecting and keep collecting, but every so often, man, we got to get into our lives and, and into the situations we're in and take out the trash. Put it out on the street. Throw it up to Jesus and say, Hallelujah, Lord. You get my trash today. You get all the stuff that I, I can't deal with. All the stuff that shouldn't be in my life that, that I'm collecting and holding on to. Lord, we place it in your hands. Lord, help us to clean out the trash of our lives. And I know it's not easy, ladies and gentlemen. Because you know what? It takes work. It takes effort on our part to to work through and, and dig it up. But like I said, the price is already paid. God will forgive us. God will allow us to, to clean up the stuff of our life. He's encouraging us. He says, it's free now. <laughs> All you have to do is accept me. I will help you. So maybe take a minute. Maybe you don't want to dig up this much trash today. <laughs> Maybe there's a couple things you can throw out, put in the hands of God, take off your shoulders. Maybe it's unforgiveness for someone. Maybe it's this, that, or the other, lack of faith. And say, Lord, I'm trusting you. I'm putting it in your hands. You are the Alpha, the Omega, our God, our solid foundation. You see, ladies and gentlemen, we got a clear house on occasion. And praise God, you know, he's paid the price for us. And says, cast your burdens upon me. My yoke is light. So let's load God up. Let's load Jesus up with some trash today. Let, let's clean a little house. Let's ask for forgiveness. Let's fall before the Father. And maybe next week, we won't have quite that much. <laughs> it's amazing how easily the trash of our lives can accumulate and accumulate and grow and then the next minute we're overwhelmed with all the stuff that we've yet to sort through of our lives so 
I don't know. I prayed this question today. I was taking out the trash this morning and I'm thinking, that's pretty deep. <laughs> Joel, maybe you need to sit down and, and go through some stuff and, and clean a little room. I pray this blessed you. God bless you. Dear Lord, I come before you and I thank you that you have paid the price for us and that we can fall before you and, and clean up our lives and put it in your hands. So God, I thank you for a refreshing, a, a lightening of our loads. A, some, just fill us with your spirit. Inspire us. Uplift us, dear God. And we come before you and we thank you for cleaning us up and forgiving us of our sins. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. I love you. God bless you. Share the message. And remember, clean up some stuff today. I'm trying to. God bless you. Love you. Bye-bye.